Vessel, welcome back to the Alpha Best series of games. Today we are taking a look at the letter L. This is a series where I look at my 10 favorite games from each letter of the alphabet, hopefully highlighting some games that you might not hear about many other times. So let's get started with the letter L, number 10. Uh, by the way, this is an interesting list because when I was first putting it together, I thought this is the top 10 games that start with a, the word Lord or Lost. That's not actually the case. But number 10 doesn't start with either of those. It's Lifeboats. Lifeboats is a game that's mean. I mean, really, if I said name Lifeboat, describe Lifeboats in one word, I'd say mean. Can I say really mean? That's two words, but that's really what it is. A ship is sunk. You're all in Lifeboats. You're all trying to get to islands. Each turn, everyone votes. Which Lifeboat's going to spring a leak? Then the people who are on that Lifeboat vote. Who gets thrown off? And you keep going. And then it just goes on and on and on. Eventually, some lifeboats will make it to the islands, and whoever has the most points wins, whoever gets their sailors to the islands. So your skies are scattered throughout all the lifeboats. You're constantly switching back and forth. If all your people are one lifeboat, it's probably going to sink and go. So you want to spread people out. You got to convince other people to vote someone else off the boat. Oh, mean, but I love it. That's lifeboats. Number nine is the only Lord of the Rings game that made my list uh, that starts with that, Lord of the Rings, Confrontation. Stratego is a, is a game that I have a lot of fondness for. I played it as a kid as you move pieces and you turn them around. Oh, this is where that piece is. Lord of the Rings, Confrontation is essentially Lord of the Rings, Stratego. Um, as one player is trying to get uh, Frodo and the ring to the other side of the board, the other player is trying to stop him. You have uh, asymmetrical pieces. Each piece has a special ability. There's not many of them. So it's kind of like, uh, I move my piece here. The, the shadow player has stronger, more powerful pieces. But the, the good player uh, has better special abilities. This is a really well-designed game. Very evenly matched. That's Lord of the Rings Confrontation. Number eight is a drafting game. You'll notice that I have a kind of a weakness. I love drafting games. This one is Lost Legends from Mike Elliott. Lost Legends is a drafting game where you are drafting equipment. And then you are going into a dungeon where you are probably going to get beat up. <laughs> but hopefully your equipment will let you last and kill several monsters along the way. It's a little too hard. Probably the monsters are tough and you can't really make a mistake when you're drafting. But I love the game regardless. I love drafting and I love sitting and go, ooh, I can, I can take this piece of armor, or I can take this sword, or I can take this magic spell, ah, which one do I take? And it's a lot of fun with some really cool artwork that's Lost Legends. My number seven game is another game that starts with the word lost, and that is Lost Cities. This is from Dr. Reiner Knizia. It is a two-player game that I played over a hundred times, mostly with my wife, as we do this back and forth, trying to put, um, these cards down in numerical order. Uh, at the same time, you, you've trying to out, you're holding cards in your hand. You know your opponent needs because when you, you you either play a card in your turn or you discard a card. But the card you discard is a card they can pick up, and you're trying to place out a whole bunch of numbers in the same color. And but you can only place them in ascending order. So once you play the five, for example, you can no longer play the four. And you're sitting there. Oh, should I play a card now or should I wait and hope I draw the right card later on? Very, oh man, the stress that it has back and forth. I love it. A great two-player game, Lost Cities. Number six, Lords of Vegas. This is a game in which you are building casinos in the city of Las Vegas, and you are building them up and trying to take over other people's uh, casinos. There's a little bit of gambling. There's a little bit of um, trying to, you know, horn in other people's territories or just build your own casinos and hope that those casinos will get you points as the game progresses. Very intriguing game. There's a lot of cool concepts in it. Like, for example, to go past a certain level, you need a certain number of points per turn. A lot of fun in the game. It has a cool look to it also. And it uses dice. Like it. Lords of Vegas. Another Lords game. Number five, Lords of Waterdeep. Lords of Waterdeep is a Dungeons & Dragons board game, which is very Euro. I love the expansion for it, which it certainly elevates it as you are placing workers out on the board, trying to get resources or different fighters and clerics and wizards and uh, rogues to then go out on missions and score points to build buildings that other people will use, which give you a benefit. This is one of those games that just always goes over well for everyone that I play it with. Uh, it still holds up well several years after it's come out. Still a game that I love playing, that is Lords of Waterdeep. Back to the word lost for number four, Lost Valley. 
Lost Valley is a game in which you are going out exploring and trying to get gold. There's gold in those hills. Yes, there is. There's also gold in the stream. There's also gold here. And you go out. And what I love about this game is that you get a quick action. Ooh, I'm going to take an action. I'm going to go over here and do this. Ooh, I get an action. I'll go over here and do this. And so you go and take the action. Uh, you will uh, get to... Uh, maybe fish for some fish or hunt an animal or get some gold or maybe someone else started a gold mine. I'm going to go steal some of the gold from your gold mine. This game was just recently reprinted. I liked a lot of the things that it added to the mix. Uh, the reprint of the very minor stuff, but it's always been one of my favorite games because I love the theming. I love how quickly it goes. That's Lost Valley. All right, we're done with the words Lost and Lords. Number three, Libertalia. Citadels was a game that I've always enjoyed you know, because of picking different roles. Libertalia does the same thing, except Libertalia is different every time you play it. Everyone starts with the same hand of nine pirates. You're gonna play those pirates at the same time, trying to play them in the right order to mess over the other players and help yourself out. And then you only play six of them, and then you draw six new pirates. Everyone gets the same six, except the three you kept from the first turn will be different. So then the game is a little bit different, and you're trying to outthink everyone. Okay, now's the time to play this pirate. All right, I've already played this pirate and every game feels different. They have a really cool, fun mix of pirates as you go through the game. That is Libertalia. Also works great with all the number of players. Number two is XCOM the board game. Oh, wait, this is an X, this is L. That's because it's level seven Omega Protocol. I love XCOM where you go in and you're fighting aliens, working together as a team, and level seven Omega Protocol feels exactly like that. You are going in or one player is controlling the aliens. <laughs> That's me. But the other players are going in, they're Marines. This isn't one of those games where you walk in in a loincloth and a spear and hope that you get stuff. You come in fully charged and ready to go. You just gotta survive through the whole level. You might find some med kits, but you're not finding awesome weapons along the way. You're gonna just find lots of all kinds of mean, nasty aliens that might be coming out of the vents, that might be showing up here. You're never sure where anything is. Great miniatures, this is just a really cool game. That's level seven Omega Protocol. And my number one favorite game that starts with the letter L is Legendary. Now, there are lots of Legendary games out there. My favorite is Legendary Marvel Universe. And that is just, ah, oh, I love cooperative games. I love deck building games. I love the Marvel Universe. This combines all of them in a really cool way. Um, there are so many expansions out for it too. Uh, Spider-Man Fantastic Four, they just came out with Captain America and Secret Wars, Civil War is coming out later this year. You can take almost any mix of heroes that you want, go up against almost any villain you want. Every game is gonna feel different. There are billions, trillions probably, of combinations that can be played in this game. And yet you're sitting there, it takes Ascension, the basic concept from Ascension, and elevates it to a really fun level. The cooperative thing, the game is kind of semi-cooperative, but forget that part. I just play fully cooperative. It's a lot of fun, and it brings the Marvel Universe alive for me. So my number one game from L is Legendary. All right, well, that's it. Next time, I'll see you for the letter M. You've been watching the Alpha Best series. My name is Tom Basil. Thanks for joining us today at the Dice Tower. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.